Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to use conditional formatting in Notion with relation properties and rollup properties. If you're unfamiliar with relation and rollup and formulas in Notion, that's okay. If I try to explain it verbally, it may not make any sense, but once we get into it, I'm sure it will. But basically, what we're going to do is take a database called tasks, that's just a list of tasks and tags for each task, and we're going to go in to another database called a sleep tracker, and we're going to create a formula within the sleep tracker that shows us what time we should go to sleep, what time we should start unwinding, what time maybe we should wake up, dependent entirely on that tasks database that is a separate database. How we're going to be able to grab properties from that other database is through relation and rollup properties. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so firstly, we're going to look at our tasks, like I mentioned before. This is a very strict back tasks database, just the name of the task and the properties associated with it. So we'll have medium priority, easy priority, an exam, or an essay. So what we want to do down here in the sleep tracker is dependent on these properties that we grabbed through a rollup over here, we want to know what time we want to start unwinding the night before and what time we want to wake up that next morning. So I started with some preliminary formulas just to get us started. So in this example, I want to always wake up at 6 a.m. That's the general idea except for Friday nights. I want to sleep in Friday nights. I don't want a particular unwinding time. I want that to say flexible instead. But let's go through these properties first. So alarm set is pretty obvious. I want to wake up at 6 a.m. How I get 6 a.m. is I add the date from today, which is a property that I choose manually. And I'll say today is the 21st and I'll put in 12 a.m. for every date here. So that over here in alarm set, I can say I want to add 30 hours to prop date. So 30 hours from 12 a.m. is 6 a.m. I feel like this keeps things consistent in this way and it allows for a formula to be created. So now that we know that, we know alarm generally 6 a.m. From there, we're going to get L sleep time, which is the latest possible time I should be going to sleep. And that's going to be seven hours before my alarm is set. So date subtract from alarm set, seven hours. And then my unwinding time is one hour before my latest sleep time. And it's the same thing, date subtract from late sleep time, one hour. That's what we have right now. We want to make this a little bit more nuanced, though. So what I want to do is whenever it says essay, I want to put a text value in this unwinding category that says check over essay. And then I want the unwinding time to remain the same. I want it just one hour before my latest sleep time. But for exam, I'd like this unwinding time to set back an hour and a half, and I'd like a text value before it to say meditate. Other than that, I want to keep everything the same, except for Friday nights, like I said. I want that to be completely flexible. I don't even really want an alarm set, but I'll set one anyway, maybe for 8.30 a.m., but unwinding is going to be flexible. First, let me show you how I got this relation and roll-up property in here. You're going to create a new property. You can do that by clicking this addition here and you'll select relation. When you select it, this will pop up and you will select the database that you want to grab from, which in this case is tasks. Grab it, create relation, and now whenever you click on a cell, you are able to grab any particular task you want. In this case, I'm going to grab everything that's due during the date of alarm set. So anything due on the 22nd, I'm going to click into here, and then 
I'm going to create, I'm going to delete this right here just for right now. Then I'm going to create this roll up property in the same manner, except you click roll up and this will appear. You want to grab tasks, which is the only relation we have. And in property, you want to grab priority and that will bring the priority property here into this database. Now that we know that, let's start conditional formatting these properties. So let's start with an easy one first. Alarm set only needs to be changed depending upon a Friday night. So let's look at this. Let's just delete this for now. Let's type parentheses day property date. This is going to find the day of the week that we're looking for. We're going to make sure it's the fifth day of the week, which is a Friday. Another parentheses question mark. So if the day is five, if the day is Friday, we are going to add to prop date 32 and a half hours instead of 30 hours. So we'll sleep in a little bit on Saturdays. Type hours. So now we have that. If it is not a Friday, we're going to have the regular 30 hours after. So we'll just go like colon date add. We'll do the same thing. Date add property date. Thirty hours instead. And that should work. Now you can see that in Friday, it does not say 6 a.m., it says 8.30 a.m. And that June 27th is not Friday, it is actually the next Saturday, so that's important. Next, we're going to go into this more tricky property. We're going to try to manipulate the unwinding formula to give us some text properties in addition to a date and time. So some commands. And for Fridays, we're going to have it just simply say flexible with no date and time. This one's going to be a little bit longer. I'm going to go if contains, so if in property priority, if priority contains essays or essay, we're going to concat or combine something like, let's give it an emoji. Look over essay, and then we're going to add two lines and then add format parentheses. And there's a good reason why we're putting format here because concat only combines text values. So if we have a date and time that isn't considered a text value, we need to format it to be text value. Format date subtract prop latest sleep time. Sometimes it does that, double prop. Make sure there's only one prop. One hour. So that's one scenario. Now we want to look at exam. So if contains property priority exam, here we want to concat meditate plus those two lines plus we're going to format date subtract prop latest sleep time 
Here we are going to do one and a half hours before latest sleep time instead of one hour. Hours. And three parentheses and a comma. Now we're going to look at Friday. So if, again, day of the week in prop date equals five, sorry, five, let's put a little bed emoji and flexible. Now that we have all three conditions in there, we're going to put a scenario where these conditions do not apply. So in every other scenario, we're just going to unwind one hour before the latest sleep time. Let's quickly put that in. Format, date, subtract, prop latest sleep time, one hours. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, so something happened here. And I know exactly what happened. And this is gonna happen a lot if you're not familiar with formulas. I forgot to add a parentheses. Parentheses are everything. In this if day prop date, I needed the parentheses to close this. And then it should work. So I'm just going to pause the screen right here if you want to copy it. I am going to provide a, this exact formula and everything else in written form in an article on my website that I'll link down below. Done. Now, you see everything kind of updated here. It looks like Friday is flexible. Thursday, there's an essay. Look over essay. Exam. Meditate. That's pretty cool. I just want to point out one more thing though. So let's say you have priority that says exam and an essay is due in the same day, which is super common. There is a way to combine those two. Say you could say if a priority contains exam and essay, then execute this. But if you don't really want to have that many elements in your formula, Everything on the top of the formula, so essay here, is going to override everything else. So if priority says essay and exam, it's going to return as if it's essay. If you'd rather the exam result come up for exam and essay, because the exams might be a little bit more important to you, then you can do that. I'm going to show you real quick how this works. So let's add task two. To this day. You can see that it says look over essay instead of meditate. If I take away task 2 it will say meditate. That's what I mean. So everything looks like exactly how I want it. You can see in latest sleep time on Fridays it says 1.30 because that is 7 hours before 8.30 a.m. This is the closest I can get to something that I can really actually use. Sleep trackers can get annoying because I don't want to keep adding in dates and time, date and time, date and time. It's nauseating. Even just looking at this is a little bit difficult on my eyes. So having a lot of these auto populated properties is important for something like this. But I hope you got something out of it. I hope now you understand a little bit more about relations and rollups and how formulas can play a role. If you have any questions or anything at all, you can give me a comment down below and I'll answer it right away. And I'll leave a link to this public page down below as well, as I always do. I'll see you guys next time.